Well, howdy there, internet people. It's Belle again. So today, we're going to talk about RFK Jr.'s endorsement of Trump and how RFK Jr.'s family is all of us. If you missed it, to the dismay of many of his supporters and family members, RFK Jr. dropped out of the race and endorsed Trump. Before it happened, we talked about the possibility and a lot of the conventional wisdom about how it might impact polling. But today, we're going to talk about something else, his family, and their reaction to endorsing Trump. A statement put out by the extended family said, quote, We believe in Harrison Walls. Our brother Bobby's decision to endorse Trump today is a betrayal of the values that our father and our family hold most dear. They further described the development saying, It's a sad ending to a sad story. But the family story is one that many in the U.S. can relate to. In May of 2019, members of RFK Jr.'s family wrote a column saying that he, quote, is part of this campaign to attack the institutions committed to reducing the tragedy of preventable infectious disease. He has helped to spread dangerous misinformation over social media and is complicit in showing distrust of the science behind vaccines. The story of losing a family member to wild rhetoric and then eventually that family member falling under Trump's sway might be one of the most relatable stories to come out of the Kennedy family. They've always been larger than life. They influence politics, fashion, American culture, and even horse names, Jackie, Marilyn, Mr. President. But this was because they weren't, relate they weren't relatable. The family was a dynasty, but watching them deal with the same loss that so many Americans have felt is grounding. The uncle who carries a pocket constitution, but turns away when you bring up how Trump called for, quote, the termination of all rules, regulations, and articles, even those found in the constitution. In his desperate bid to cling to power, that aunt who still wants to see Obama's, quote, real birth certificate, the cousin who still believes something was wrong with the election and will defend that idea loudly but can't provide any evidence other than Trump said it was true. The grandfather who was a lifelong Republican who now calls people he campaigned for rhinos simply because Trump ordered him to. The dad who is now unrecognizable to his children as he condemns the very values he instilled. The Kennedys themselves have experienced that feeling as they watch someone fall under Trump's sway. We often talk about the damage Trump has done to the United States, but what often gets lost in that is the damage he's done to families of the United States as he demands absolute obedience in return for, well, reporting says RFK Jr. might get a position within the administration. Did our lost family members get anything? Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.